So this is my skin without anything on. It's morning time. I just washed my face with some water and uh, what's up? You look cute. You look cute. Did they do a good job? This has got this part of my let me see. Stop. Don't, don't did she me. almost like cut you or did he almost cut Oh, I cut mean, you? whenever they're doing a straight razor, you almost always get cut. And you got cut right there too? Don't come too close to my camera, honey. Nobody wants to see your face that close. Well, that's kind of cool in the reflection. You can see yourself. That was a trick. You're not supposed to reveal my tricks. But it's, um... Ah. What did I put on you? Uh -huh. Did you see? She went too far up on the side. Okay. Um, my battery's dying, so I'll get called. Don't we have a charger? We do, but I really need to finish that table because TJ makes some dinner, so... <laughs> don't, don't uh, wake up the other one. Go. With all this clapping. This is what you get with me. Raw, unfiltered uh, um, vlog. Anyway. So the battery died on my camera, so I'm using another camera. I really want to get this video out there. To answer your question, guys, on how to get this beautiful, flawless skin, I will show you my skin routine in the morning and at night. But I'm showing this to you assuming you already, one, drink plenty of water. Number two, you eat 80% plant-based diet. That's the key. If you don't have healthy gut, you will not have healthy skin. And number three, I assume you never ever 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 go to sleep with your makeup on right wonderful if all those things are correct we can go on You may think I'm crazy but yes I use apple cider vinegar in the morning as a face wash Although apple cider vinegar is very acidic, it actually helps me to regulate the pH balance of my skin. It's an excellent toner, like I said, and it can be used in all skin types. It also has great antibacterial and anti-inflammatory properties. So for oily and acne-prone skin, apple cider vinegar can help treat acne, dry them out actually, and reduce redness. But for dry skin, it can help exfoliate it and give it a natural glow. And here's what I do. I mix about one part water and three parts apple cider vinegar in a small bowl. Using a cotton pad, I apply it to my face. Since my skin doesn't react to apple cider vinegar, I do not wash it off. I just let it soak in and then I apply my moisturizer. But you may want to see how your skin feels and if there is any irritation, just wash it off with some warm water. Also, listen up, if you've never tried apple cider vinegar on your skin, you may want to take it slow and see how your skin feels. First, try mixing half and half, half water, half apple cider vinegar, and gradually increase the amount of apple cider vinegar as your skin gets used to it. Oh, and most importantly, before applying it onto your entire face, test it on a small area of your skin and wait to see if there's any irritation. Like I already said, my skin is dry for the most part and regular moisturizers just don't do it for me. I've tried a million different moisturizers in the past and they just didn't feel right. I found that pure oils work best for me. And here are the oils that I use on pretty much daily basis. One of my favorite is rosehip oil. I absolutely love it. It has this beautiful amber color it's thicker than olive oil and it soaks into your skin quickly. It's great for all skin types, particularly um, aging and mature skin. It's high in essential fatty acids. It can help reduce spots, dryness, and fine lines. It's very important though, try to get cold press organic rose hip seed oil. I will leave the link for the oil that I particularly like in the description box below. Recently, I bought hemp seed oil. And I have to tell you that I'm not loving it as much as rose hip on my face. For some reason, it just feels like it doesn't moisturize my skin as deeply. I have to keep reapplying it every hour or so. 
but again if you don't have very dry skin like mine hemp seed oil might be great for you in fact a lot of people with oily skin swear by this oil because it moisturizes the skin without clogging the pores and it actually balances the oily skin and it's very gentle i bought this mainly for the um, omega-3 and omega-6 content which is what i need for my psoriasis and my eczema for that purpose i think hemp seed oil is great and this is my good old friend extra extra virgin olive oil it works great on my skin it doesn't smell that great so i just add a drop or two of a lavender essential oil or tea tree oil both are great for your skin and they both smell amazing and after applying it on your skin it will leave your skin very smooth and clear i don't know can you tell i just applied olive oil and lavender oil on my skin although be very careful and try to find cold pressed unprocessed olive oil and be careful with the essential oils because they're very potent you can burn your skin easily a little bit goes a long way last but not least what i've learned over the years with my skin is to never over exfoliate i feel like there's a lot of confusion going on with exfoliation and all these titles like i've used baking soda for seven days and here's what happened to my skin i feel like why would you do that to yourself nobody needs such a harsh exfoliation baking soda can be very harsh on your skin nobody needs that especially for for seven days I believe in simple and soft exfoliations and here's what I use to exfoliate my skin. It's more of a mask but when I'm on the go I usually just rub it around and wash it off. I use red Moroccan clay and activated charcoal. Simply mix Moroccan clay, some water and some charcoal into a paste. If I have time I will apply it on my face and leave it for a few minutes as a mask. If I do not have time I will just exfoliate my skin in small circular motions and wash it off. That is it. How simple was that? By the way, both Moroccan clay and charcoal are safe, gentle and extremely good for treating blackheads, breakouts and detoxifying your skin. One downside to this is that activated charcoal can get very messy, so I usually apply it right before I go to bed. Other than that, these are great products to have in your household. They're effective and inexpensive, whether you're going to use them for your overall health or for your skin health. So that was it, you guys. Two days worth of filming. But I hope I answered your questions about my skincare routine. That's pretty much all I do to my skin on a daily basis. I have a different routine for makeup removing. If you would like me to share that video, please let me know. Again, if you have any questions, I'm here for you. Send me an email, comment below, or find me on Instagram. Let's chat.